Hello everyone. Welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. My name is Sanya and this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro fast. So, in today's video we will discuss about 15 things you must do after installing MX Linux 21. So, let's get started. As we all know that MX Linux is a cooperative venture between the NTX and MX Linux community. It is a family of operating systems that are designed to combine elegant and efficient desktops with high stability and solid performance. MX graphical tools provide an easy way to do a variety of tasks while the live USB and snapshots tools inherited from NTX and impressive portability and remastering capabilities. Well, it is a Debian-based desktop distribution and now available for testing. Version 21 is based on the soon-to-be-stable Debian 11 Bullseye and features the XFCE 4.16. So, the first thing that I'm gonna tell you is Download and install latest updates as it will always keeps you away from unnecessary bugs and glitches that might hamper your performance. Now in MX Linux it is too easy to tell whether or not an update is pending by simply looking at this box. Here you can see no updates available. Simply click on it. It will ask for your password and here you can see. Just simply double click on this box and here you can see full upgrade. There is no package that we need to update or upgrade. But in case if you need to upgrade the system, all you need to do is right click on the desktop and here you can see the option open terminal here and right here sudo apt update and then hit enter. Now it will ask for your password, give it your password and here you can see it is updating this system. It will take some time. Moving towards the next thing that you should do is fix screen tearing. Well, screen tearing is a visual artifact in video display where a display device shows information from multiple frames in a single screen draw. So, you can remove it. While in MX Linux, there are a couple of solutions have been made available in MX Tweak. So go to the application manual first and from here search MX Tweak. And now go to the compositor. Now here you can see the compositor, click on it and select the Compton option. Now whenever an Intel graphics driver is detected, a checkbox become available in MX Tweak in the configuration option tab that switches the system away from the default mode setting and a switch that enables the Intel driver's tear-free option. So now close it. The next thing that you can do is one of the most important thing that is install multimedia codecs. As we know that a codec is a device or computer program which encodes or decodes a data stream or signal. So it is too necessary to have multimedia codecs because while installing the system, MX Linux skipped many of the necessary multimedia codecs. This is actually because of the legal concern. So for that, go to the application menu and from here you can choose MX tools. Now here you have different options, you can utilize them. Well, I'll go with the codec installer in order to install codecs. So simply click on it. Now here you can see this application allows you to install restricted codecs that permit advanced video and audio functions. So click on OK button. Here you can see it is downloading codec files. It is in running process. Codex file have been downloaded and installed successfully. OK and then close it. Now coming towards the next point that is add blocker. Well, MX Linux has an add blocker installed by default, but it is not enabled by default. So it does not work out of the box. So you can enable it. And the result will be it stops many advertising servers and websites from sending ads to your PC. So for that, go to the application menu and from here, you can search for ad block. Here it is. Click on it. It will ask for your password. And now here you can see, do you want to proceed? So click on OK button and check all these boxes. And then click on OK. Here you can see loading ad list from WinHelp 2002. It will take some time. 
the boxes that we have checked it will load them one by one and successfully your settings have been changed so now click on ok button now coming towards the evergreen thing that is enable firewall as we know that a firewall is a network security device that monitors incoming and outgoing network trafficking so we will see how we can enable firewall well ufw is the built-in firewall of mx linux and it is highly reliable one now for that you need to go to the application menu and search here for firewall configuration and here you can see firewall configuration it will ask for your password here you can see the status simply by clicking on it you can enable the firewall and here you have the different rules you can set the rules here basically you can add the custom rules so now close it well the next thing that you should do is install nvidia drivers by default mx linux installs driver but it has likely installed the open source drivers now if your system uses nvidia graphics card then i would recommend you to install nvidia drivers for a more seamless desktop appearance so for that open mx tools and from here you can see the option nvidia driver installer click on it well it will ask for your password well unfortunately here i have the message no nvidia card found basically it is for those system who have nvidia graphics card now coming towards the next thing that you should do is install redshift well redshift is used in mx to adjust the color temperature according to the position of the sun mx linux does not include redshift by default but we can install it ourselves so for that go to the application menu and from here you need to go to the mx package installer it will ask for your password now here you have different option you need to go to stable repo tab and here you need to search for redshift here you can see redshift and redshift hyphen gtk click on it and then click on install button processing finished successfully coming towards the next thing that is customize panel by default mx linux comes with an xfce desktop environment with a left side vertical taskbar so you can customize it now right click on taskbar and from here select the panel and from here select the panel preferences now from the panel preferences first uncheck the box lock panel and from the mode drop down you need to click on horizontal now you will see the panel in the horizontal orientation but at the top of the screen now to move it to the bottom here you can see the dots you need to click on it and then move it towards the bottom now after having the panel at the bottom one thing that remains problematic for some people is the position of mx linux start menu button that is here you can see well we are used to see it here at the left corner so for that you need to go to the items here you can see you can drag and drop the options simply click on whisker menu and then move it towards upward now here you can see we have the application menu or the start button here now coming towards the next thing that is uninstall unnecessary applications and packages now when we are talking about installing different useful application then there are some applications that we don't use as mx linux is a midway distribution which means it comes with many applications and packages pre-installed so go to the application menu and from here you can search for all recently used and all applications you can search them one by one you can go through by them and you can see which applications you are not going to use you can simply uninstall all the unnecessary applications from here well to delete pre-installed applications you can use the moan package manager you can install it from mx package installer the next thing that you should do after installing mx linux 21 is set high resolution display setting so for that right click on the desktop and from here you can see the option that is applications and from here you can see the option settings now here you can see settings manager so first go to the setting manager and here you have different options now go to the appearance and from here go to settings and here you have window scaling option all you need to do is simply click on 2x in order to enlarge the font size from here you can also increase the size of fonts and also the size of icons well i'm perfectly fine with it so i'm not gonna change it as i have already changed it but you can do this so by using these three features from here you can also change the style as well 
you can also add styles now coming towards the next thing that is configure themes mx linux come with a set of pre-installed themes which you can find in the mx tool so go to the application menu and from here go to the mx tools now here you can see the option tweak click on it and here you can see the option theme here you have different theme options you can choose either any of them then apply it now coming towards the next thing that you should do after installing mx linux 21 is configure terminal right click on the desktop and here you can see the option open terminal here click on it right click on it and here you can see the option preferences click on preferences and here you have terminal preferences as you need to spend a lot of time using this terminal so you can change its appearance colors and compatibility according to your needs Coming towards the next thing that is install popular application. Well, MX Linux comes with bundles of application but still there are few applications that you need. So for that go to the application menu and from here go to MX package installer. It will ask for your password. You can install any application from here. You can also search for an application from here. Now coming towards the second last and the most important thing that is one of my favorite that is configure Conkey. Now go to the application menu and from here search for Conkey manager and here you can see different widgets and themes. So select any of them. Well, Conkey is an extremely versatile system monitoring utility that can display on your desktop a wide variety of information. Now here you can see a wide variety of information about your system. Now close it. Now coming towards the last thing that is clean up your system. As you know that we have made a lot of tweaks to our system installed applications. So as a result, this will be pile up some unnecessary junk files on our system. So the most important thing that you should do after installing your system is clean up your system. MX Linux ship with a beautiful application to help keep the system tidy. Go to the application menu and from here search for MX Cleanup. Using MX Cleanup, you can clean folders, you can delete logs and you can clean your apt cache and empty the trash as well all with a single click. You can also automate a cleanup schedule. So you don't need to do this manually every time. All you need to do is simply select the way you want to clean up your system and then apply it. That's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any queries, reach out to us in the comments below. Like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video.